to understand the deep truths of your word. So that even as we worship you, we will worship you according to knowledge. Lord, speak to me and cause me to speak in living a cause of your tone. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Greetings from KDM. And we give praise and thanks to God for this opportunity to come before the Lord in worship and in praise. This morning, the theme given to us is Christ open our minds. Christ open our minds. Luke chapter 24 and verse 45 reads, then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. Verse 46, and said to them, thus it is written that a Christ should suffer and on the third day rise from the dead. The emphasis is on verse 45. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. Look, it's Nichichim Ibanan Inumen Na Obwe Hunadrinum Mawatse Troisam Nasi Na Obwe Hunadrinum Mawatse Troisam Nasi Adofu There's a problem on our hands a problem in this world today and it has to do with the problem of ignorance. In Acts chapter 3, the first scripture reading, when Peter and John had gone to the temple, he met this lame man at the beautiful gate who was begging for alms and Peter said, well, we don't have silver, we don't have gold, what we have is what we give in the name of Christ, rise up and walk. And the man rose up to walk. The people who had gathered were amazed and they began wondering what had happened. So Peter began addressing them that, brothers, don't be so amazed at what has happened. We have not, we have not done this by our own strength, but it is Christ Jesus who has caused it. And then he talked about how their leaders had given over Jesus Christ to be crucified, even though Pilate wanted to release Jesus. And then he ended in verse 17 that their leaders, the people and their leaders had acted in ignorance. Ignorance. They had acted in ignorance. In Sibra Peter, a domina na we share wo abo fefe o na no yin hon reason komo wa asa yare bana nko funu o ye hon wo nwa na peter shas the orca christ no ha some that troy some of a christ orca for christ to ho nembre wo yi jesus me ma wo kumin na peter za o di wie nyi de za wo ye ti e jesus nyi na no wo ye Ignorance. Ignorance is a big problem on our hands. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6 states that because of lack of knowledge, my people perish. Just think about this. Can you think of a person? who finds a diamond and because the person doesn't know what a diamond is and its value, will just throw it away as a result of ignorance. Or think of, uh, this morning I was using the example of the slide rule. How many of us here know the slide rule? Yes, the younger ones don't know the slide rule. These days, students are allowed to use calculators. So let's say you are giving some, 
work to perform some maths to do and you have the slide view and then you have the calculator. What will you go for? When we are using the slide view, it will take you a bit of time with a calculator quickly. But because you don't know the value of the calculator or how it works and you know only about the slide view, you might just go for the slide view and begin to use it because you are ignorant of the use of the calculator. So ignorance has di diverse effects on us. It can lead us to lose things that are valuable. It can lead to the loss of life. It can lead to the loss of wasted time and so many other things. Ignorance. And yet, we live in a day where there is so much ignorance. But here we are even talking about a certain kind of ignorance. Ignorance of the scriptures. Ignorance of what the Bible teaches. Many people are ignorant about the scriptures, about the, what the Bible teaches. There might be two reasons that may account for this ignorance pervading even in the church today. One, we are told in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4, that the God of this world this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers so they cannot see the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ who is the very image of God. The God of this world. Satan has blinded people. In Christ, 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 the fullness of the Godhead bodily dwelt in Christ. But because the God of this world has blinded people, they cannot understand Christ. They, they don't understand him. They don't see him. And they cannot live for Christ. So that is one of the things that may be the cause of the ignorance. The God of this world having blinded people. But then Paul also says this in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 17 to 19. He had met with the Athenians. And in fact, the Athens, though very intelligent, were also used to idol worshiping. And they had so many idols. And when Paul went to Athens, he even saw an idol that had been dedicated to the unknown God. And so Paul was telling them that, look, I tell you and insist on it in the Lord, that you must no longer live as the Gentiles do, in the futility of their thinking. And how do the Gentiles live? It says they are darkened in their understanding and separated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them due to the hardening of their hearts. So ignorance may be as a result of the fact that Satan has blinded people or ignorance may be as a result of the fact that our hearts are hardened. The ignorance due to the hardening of the heart. I missed some things up. Uh, the issue of the Athens is something different. Here Paul was talking to the Ephesian church. Satan blinding people or people hardening their hearts. If anyone should have known the scriptures... It was the very people who crucified Jesus. The priests and the teachers of the law. But they were ignorant. It may be Satan had blinded them. Or it may be that they had hardened their heart. They had all the evidence that Jesus or Madudwezvan or Sayereba in fact, John the Baptist, Osme there, won't be say Jesus there. Now, all we need there, yeah, if you can't open, I say, I will share that we see. The evidence is there for you to see. The blind see, the lame walk. So these teachers of the law had all the evidence, and yet they were ignorant. They were ignorant. Paul, at a time, Paul himself a teacher of the law, a Pharisee, studying under a rabbi 
a renowned rabbi, Gamaliel, continued persecuting the church. And this is Paul's own statement. Even though I was once a blasphemer and a persecutor and a violent man, I was shown mercy. This is 1 Timothy verse, uh, chapter 1 and verse 13. I was shown mercy because I acted in ignorance and unbelief. I acted in ignorance and unbelief. He was a scholar, and yet he was acting in ignorance and unbelief. In the same way, our dear revered father, John Wesley, before Aldous Gate, acted in ignorance. John Wesley taught that living his own stipulated holy life will end him salvation. And he was so ignorant until the point where his eyes was opened or his mind was opened up. As he read the preface of Martin Luther's commentary to the Romans. Then it's like the scales on his eyes was removed. And then, oh, so all this truth has been here and I've been wondering. Today, many people are acting in ignorance. Years ago, in my devotion, I read a story of a medical doctor. This medical doctor was attending to a patient and recognized the patient needed oxygen. There was a tank marked oxygen. And so immediately the, the doctor reached out to the tank and then gave the content of the tank to the patient. Immediately the patient died. When they investigated, they recognized that the tank contained carbon dioxide. Even though it was written on it, oxygen, it contained carbon dioxide. The doctor meant well, but he was ignorant of what was in the tank. When we are ignorant, so and that is why the Bible tells us, warns us against zeal without knowledge. Mema projection team we project Bibi Kakrebi at Trehen. Ebra yin yimen in Zama yetum yeye. Leonard, are we ready? Chanapaya Basuri. Namikita Mutri. Medimadar. Medribokwe Tsiabonsam. And this is going on. This is what ignorance can lead people to. Hello? It's going on. In fact, Anapaya Mpo Obia send them a similar video uh, which happened about six or seven years in South Africa. So for be a okay to the or more on a street ban all my members in the streets ban and see one cop outside there was grass and the people went to chew the grass. You may have seen some of these videos. Why are people doing this? When the word of God clearly states how we can combat the enemy. Ephesians tells us that we do not fight against flesh and blood. Recently, KDM, in our Wednesday evening teachings, we took Jesus' teachings in Matthew 6, the teachings on prayer, the teachings on fasting, and the teachings on giving. The whole of the year, we have been studying that. 
And I, when I was teaching about prayer, I came to warfare prayer. And I began helping people to understand what warfare prayer is. As we find in Ephesians chapter 6. It says, that The Lord has revealed those things to us. But because of our ignorance. In it's a drink. I can't think far. It's what you know. Come on, yeah, then. On sa on see, and these are the things people are doing in the name of Christianity, just because of ignorance. But friends, our worship of God depends on our knowledge of who God is, and take note of the statement. Our worship of God depends on our knowledge of God. And there's this stanza in our hymn, When I see thee as thou art, I'll praise thee as I ought. You cannot worship God outside what you know about God. And that is why when we come to worship God in ignorance, it's very dangerous. And yet there are many people who are worshipping God in ignorance. Our minds have been seared as with steel. We may be very passionate. And look at the way that people are doing it. With passion. And yet, because they don't know, they lack the knowledge. They will do weird things. All in the name of Christianity. Christianity. Ignorance. Because of ignorance, Paul will go persecuting Christians. Because of ignorance, John Wesley will fail terribly in his missionary endeavor in Georgia. Jesus on Samaritan or Bani Shea John chapter 4, verse 20 following. Jesus says, you Samaritans worship who you do not know. This morning, I want to ask you a question. Do you know the God you are worshiping? And how well do you know this God you claim to be worshiping? Think of these two questions. Do you know the God you are worshiping? And how well do you know this God whom you are worshipping. And as I've stated, your knowledge of who God is will determine how you worship him. If you are ignorant of who God is, you worship him based on the knowledge you have. And because that knowledge is wrong, it means your worship of God will be wrong. And so many people are very passionate and yet, we are wrong in our worship. We are wrong in our service just because we are ignorant. That is why there is the need. There's the need for us that Christ will open our minds. Hallelujah. It's in the Hena Summon Christ. Obubwe Hena At 17, Paul Kasembi. Now, some of kind there, in the past, verse 30, God overlooked the ignorance. But now, he commands all the people everywhere to repent. So, God may have overlooked our ignorance, but he wants us to repent. And that is why in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 3, our first lesson today, after Peter has said that the people had acted in ignorance, he challenged them to repent. So that we we'll allow Christ to open our minds. Then we'll get to know him. And as we get to know him better, we'll be able to serve him. Christ opening our minds. If I as some pandem look at in fact, where we read today, you go back, you, re you recognize that Christ is 
always in the business of opening up people's minds, opening up their eyes. You go back a little and you find Jesus Christ confronting two of the disciples who were on the road to Emmaus. Christ talked with them as they went along. They couldn't recognize him until they stopped on the way, had something to eat. And we are told that as they shared bread together, he opened their eyes that they will see. Hallelujah. Never end into or whether Christ on the womb there on a to the extent that he ate with them on your own to insert the Z. In the Bible, it can verse verse 45 now. Bible record there. Oh, read them in now. Obey when I dream. Mark what said in Conchefo na a smuffle what on. Then he opened their minds so they could understand the scriptures. He told them. This is what is written, that Christ will suffer and rise from the dead, and on the third day, he will rise again, and repentance and forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name. He opened their minds. Adolfo, we need, our minds need to be opened. At Aldous Gate, John Wesley's mind was open. For him to understand that it is not by his good works that he will end salvation. On the road to Damascus, Paul's mind was opened. And he got to recognize that his fight against the Christians was fight against Christ himself. The Messiah, the anointed one of God. Our minds must be opened. And by the grace of God, he has given us opportunities. Opportunities for learning. Opportunities for dispelling the ignorance. Opportunities such as this, when we hear the word of God. Opportunities such as the class meetings, when we meet to discuss the scriptures. Opportunities like the organizational meetings, when we meet to actually see how the scriptures apply to our lives. But the question is, how are we taking advantage of these opportunities that God has given us? These opportunities through which he opens our minds so we get to understand him well in order to be able to serve him well. How well are you using these opportunities? I think the Christian life is a life of continuous opening of our minds to understand God. It's not a life of how long you have been in the church. And thank God for how long you have been in the church. I praise God for your life. But if how long you have been in the church isn't related to how well your mind is being opened to the scriptures so that you come to appreciate the scriptures and apply the scriptures to your life, then I'm sorry. You may be living in ignorance. And that is where the call comes. In the past, God overlooked that ignorance. But now he calls all of us to repent. I know him. I have tasted and seen that indeed he is God and he is good. How well do you know the Lord? Through the scriptures. So I will leave you with these questions. How well do you know God? Is your worship of God based on knowledge or is based on ignorance? 
what, what, how are you taking advantage of the opportunities given to you to get to know the Lord through the scriptures? My prayer is that we would be people who would seek to know God through his word. Isn't it interesting that the Methodist Church has for the second year taken up for the theme discipleship, teaching everyone. Am I right? How well are we learning? Teaching and learning go together. How well do you know God? Are you being like the chief priest and the elders who acted in ignorance and even when they crucified the Lord's Messiah, they thought they were doing the right thing? Are you prepared to turn back that God opened my eyes that I may see? Let us pray. And some can cry be na me be sad na pay me pay dey be so on him. Ane ni me raze. And I was my resman. Inye ni me zi na zrosum. Ne ben kwan na refadua ibu me raze ni huni ye. Eben and among the root two. Christ is why a cradle. Then Pendudu bearing him, ye bear a cradle, no obey him, adjunum, may you who is a troy, some afro, a tro, afro, no. And also a cradle. The Christ will be wadjunum. Ne who ye, ne to nasro in ye. Just commit yourself to the Lord and ask for his grace. Where we need to repent, let us accept the fact that, Lord, it is true. My knowledge of you is weak. I don't know you well. Open my eyes, Lord. Open my mind, Lord. Hen ya mea ado hen. Ne hen ya mea in ya butaru wa hen. Nem bring yina ifre de ebe chretre hen. Nem bring yina na ifre de ibu bui hen adrenum. O du bribi ne hunde yen tsua sa na for kwan bidu de ibu bui hen adrenum. Ye ka bra Ethiopian Enoch. Onam kwano do na orkin kan wasam na so on tasi. Ima Philip Benin. No bi se Philip, bi Philip bi se de zare kan e tasi. Okada on tasi nam Philip do. E shasi de zatrawi sam akafa awo Christ to hon Philip reche tre na se. E razi, dam ne pede yisi ne yu hon. Impen bi brin ye kan wasam unpa yen tasi. Ye nimu dem bra wo pede ye hun. So we mbwe hen adrenima ye hun. Dem inti na ye bom pa de. E kwa na hro a e fado izi bwe wo mba hen adrenima ni. E razi bwe hen adrenima ye hun ye. Do ye wasma ye rite. O ye class meetings. A ye siyan organizational meetings. Ana hen an kase ye rikin kan wasa mi yame. Bwe hen adrenima ye hun ye. Sunday, you whom breads are near but to me as sorrow, you but to me, you are your dembro say. It's your me for hand in the moon. No one can say ye ignorance be a fee and moon. Codu don't wait the train. Codu be in a dream. Codu show me in your moon. 
Na ye hu mbrese tse. Na ye yuwa yo mbro fata mbro se. Ye bi se yi Jesus Christ is in it. Amen. Get up mercy. Let us all rise and ye baka asmafu jezi.